real-time fidelity assessments. Um, so we're very excited about that. That's going to be something fun uh, to work forward. Um, that's all fun and games. It's more on the artistic side of things. I just want to show this project as well, because um, the philosophy behind working with bamboo also applies to other materials. This is a design concept that we did for a project in Hokkaido in Japan last year. And the idea is very simple. If you have a beam that is subjected to a certain load, you're not using your material optimally. There's a neutral fiber there that's basically wasted. And of course, you can change your shape of your beam to make it more cost effective. But um, if you would run an algorithm to find the most ideal solution, then logically, it will automatically find a chain line as the ideal geometries to support a load with the least amount of material because all of your fiber is operating in pure tension. And this is an existing concept, it's been around for a while. Kenzo Tange used it in its uh, Yoyogi Stadium in Tokyo, Sarinen used it in Yale. Um, and it produces these very, very elegant uh, geometries. So we thought that would be a fun thing to see if we could work with. Um, Fry Otto also at one point worked with this material, this concept for a glue laminated set of pavilions that he built in Bad Munder in Germany, uh, which you can see here. And in this sketch here, you'll see that he's basically, yeah, using a very simple idea, you make a triangulated uh, central arch um, and then from that you suspend your glue laminated beams uh, and they built it. Um, there's a lot of repetition in here so it's a symmetrical pavilion there's multiple of them so the unique geometry of each beam can actually the complexity of that can actually be shared uh, amongst all the pavilions uh, but here you see the final product that's being built and in a very low-tech way the roof floor is nailed on top of it and then yeah insulation and waterproofing is added on top of it so a very very simple concept um, that we thought it would be interesting to push. Now, the problem with glue laminated beams is if you're working with big companies like Rubner Holzbau, then they have the CNC controlled glue lamp beam product production facilities. But if you would go to a more developing part of the world, like say Malaysia here, here you see a curved glue laminated bridge that they built in a very, very primitive way, basically using these metal vices and a lot of manual labor. And you can imagine that if you have a repetitive geometry, then you can reuse the setup. But if you have every beam unique um, and as a unique geometry, then of course that doesn't work. So for Yizu, um, we decided to look into a, a, we use an evolutionary algorithm to design this entire pavilion's roof structure with only one uh, mold. Um, the video is quite self-explanatory. So let me uh, go to that one now. 